Do you want to start hacking right now? Like hack real servers in a safe and secure environment where you won't get in trouble? Well, that's what we're doing in today's video. I'm gonna show you how to set up a safe, secure environment on just one computer, on your laptop, that you can hack things on, real web servers. You need to learn, learn, learn hacking. Now what I'm going to show you in this video, it's pretty amazing. It's free. Again, you won't get into trouble. You can actually hack real web servers and it's beginner friendly. So if you're just starting out, this is perfect. And shout out to the sponsor of this video, IT Pro TV. They're actually the ones that gave me the idea for this video. I was watching Daniel actually walk through and attack a web app and it was awesome. And it was in a safe, secure environment, in his own environment. And I'm like, you know what? I want to, I want to do that. I want to show you guys how to do that too. So if you want to go deeper than what I show you in this video, if you want to go deeper into hacking and learning all the cool stuff, Check out IT Pro TV. Link below. You get 30% off forever with code Network Chuck. Oh, coffee's almost done. Then we can start hacking. Now, here's the amazing thing. Truly, all you need for this is just one computer, a laptop, a PC, whatever. You'll want to have at least 16 gigs of memory, but bam, that's all you need. And of course, a decent internet connection to download stuff. All right, finally ready. All right, I'm ready to start hacking. Are you? Oh, good coffee. So let me tell you a bit more about what we're doing. We're actually creating a secure hacking environment, which sounds lit, right? Sounds amazing. It is. Now inside this environment, we'll need a few things. First, we'll need our hacking machine, of course. The machine with all our hacking tools. For our example here, we're using Kali Linux, my favorite hacking Linux distro. And don't worry, I'll show you how to set that up. Again, it's super quick, I'm telling you. So we have our hacking machine, but now we need something to attack, something to hack. And we're gonna put that in there. We'll have a web server, a web app. And it's not just any web app, it's actually a vulnerable web app. It actually has vulnerabilities in it, built in, baked in. And there's this amazing place, similar to Disney World, called VulnHub. And it's just a directory of vulnerable virtual machines, vulnerable servers, that you can download and attack. And it's free. Did I mention it's free? It's amazing. But there's one catch with this, one kicker. These machines are legit vulnerable. So if you were to put these on your real home network, they could open you and your house up to an attack. Because if they're vulnerable for you to attack it, you better believe that another hacker Maybe a more experienced one could use it to get into your network. We don't want that. Which is why we want to create a secure hacking environment. And that's what I'm showing you how to do in this video. Like this laptop here. This entire environment will be running off this guy, but our hacking environment will be separate and secure inside of it. There's basically a wall, a boundary between our laptop and the hacking environment. Now, what kind of laptop do you need? Again, it could really be anything as long as you have enough memory, at least 16 gigs of RAM. That's what I have in this. Now, by the way, I'm using a razor blade laptop. This is by far my favorite laptop, the best I've ever used. You don't have to get this, but if you get it, you won't be sorry. Just trust me. All right. Enough talking. Let's start hacking. Got my copy ready. Let's go. Okay. Step one, download and install VirtualBox. This is the tool we're going to use to create our virtual machines, both our hacking machine and our hacking target. Now it's free. Linux, Mac OS, Windows. It's awesome. You'll want to install VirtualBox and the VirtualBox extension manager. I think that's what it's called. I'll put links below. Now, if you're wondering what's VirtualBox, what's a virtual machine, how do I do any of this? I got your back. I just made a video on, hey, what's a virtual machine? How do we set it up? So to learn more about those, which you should, they're amazing. Check it out, link right somewhere right here. Step two, we're gonna download Kali Linux and our vulnerable machine. I would start that process as soon as possible because they are kind of big, depending on how good your internet is, it might take a while. We'll start with Kali first, link below. You'll want the Kali Linux for VirtualBox images right here. Now we have two flavors, 64-bit and 32-bit. If you're not sure which one, that's okay. Just go back and watch my virtual machine video. I'll show you which one you should pick. I'm gonna pick 64-bit and it's downloading now. And while that's downloading, we're gonna go download our vulner vulnerable, I almost said virtual, vulnerable machine from VulnHub. Again, link below. Now there are a ton to choose from and they're all pretty amazing, but I'm choosing Mr. Robot. It is Mr. Robot themed, so it's pretty cool. And the reason I chose this is because Daniel Lowry from IT Pro TV was actually going through how to attack this one. So again, if you wanna see him do that, check it out, link below. But we're gonna go ahead and download this. I wanna choose the download mirror right here and just click on this to download the OVA now. And it'll start downloading. And now we wait. Perfect time for a uh, coffee break. Oh, hacking and coffee go hand in hand. You have to. Now time for step three, we're going to import the OVA files, which are the files you just downloaded. Now seriously, this part's pretty simple, not too bad at all, watch this. I go to my downloads folder where I downloaded these files, I'll do Kali first, just double click it. 
If you already installed VirtualBox, that's all you have to do, and the magic will start happening by itself. I'm gonna rename mine to he who must not be named. And you can tweak a few things, that's fine, but by default, I'm okay with this, with, with whatever they pick for me. So I'm good, I'm gonna click import, and it's gonna do it, it's gonna happen. Agree, yes, go. Coffee break. All right, there he is, ready to go, but don't power him up just yet, leave him there. Keep him asleep. We got something we have to do, but first, we're going to import our uh, vulnerable machine. So I'll go back to my downloads folder here, double click Mr. Robot, and same story. I am gonna change his name because it's just called VM, that's kind of boring, Let's call him Mr. Robot, and click on import. Coffee break, but it'll be quick. Now what we've just done here is pretty amazing. Right now we have a hacking machine, bam, and a vulnerable machine that we can attack. Didn't cost us a penny, totally free, and it's on one machine, on one computer. But it's not exactly safe or secure just yet. We have one more thing we have to do. So this is step four. We're going to modify our network or modify our network settings in VirtualBox. So the first thing we'll do is we're gonna change these settings in our virtual machines. So go to he who must not be named or whatever you named your Kali Linux box, right click that machine and click on settings. I'm gonna scoot on down to network here on the left. And over here where it says enable network adapter, attach to, I'm gonna change that from NAT to internal network. Now here you may see where it says name, it might just be blank for you. What you wanna do is just type in a name for your network. Like I might name mine Malfoy or something. And yeah, that's good. I'll click okay. And we just created an internal network just for our stuff. Now we're not quite done with that yet, but first let's get Mr. Robot connected to that same network as well. Now that was pretty simple, but we're not done. I'm gonna right click Mr. Robot, our vulnerable machine, click on settings and do the same thing. I'll go to his network and over here on attach to, I'm going to change it from bridge adapter to internal network. And I'll change that to Malfoy. That way they're on the same network and click OK. Now we are almost done like these two machines right here. They are isolated. This laptop I'm on cannot talk to them over the network and they can't talk to it and they can't talk to anything else. But we're missing one crucial thing and that's we need a DHCP server. DHCP server. This server has one job on the network, to hand out IP addresses to assign them. You have one in your network right now. That's how your laptop or your computer is talking. Now this isolated network right here does not have a DHCP server, so they're not gonna get an IP address when they boot up. So we need to create one for that network, and we'll do that right now. Now this might seem a little complicated, and it can be, but I'll walk you through it, don't worry. So we're gonna open up command prompt. I'm gonna type in CMD and open up my Windows command prompt. Now again, I'm doing this on a PC, on Windows. This should be fairly similar on uh, Mac and Linux. Anyways, let's go. The first thing we have to do is navigate to the directory where VirtualBox lives, where that program is in our file system. For most of you, this will be pretty simple. You can just do exactly what I'm doing right now. Type in the command CD, which means change directory, forward slash program, space files, forward slash Oracle, forward slash virtual box. And bam, we're there. And now here's our command. We're actually gonna use VirtualBox to create a DHCP server, which is kind of amazing. VirtualBox is crazy powerful. Anyways, there could be a whole video series on this thing. So let's start our command. The command will be VBox manage. That's the tool we're gonna be using to do this. And we'll say DHCP server, all one word. And then we'll do space add, because we're adding a DHCP server. And now we're gonna specify all the details about it. Like let's do the network. I'll do dash dash network equals, and this will be the name that you use to create your internal network for your attacking and, and vulnerable machine. Like if I go back and look at VirtualBox here, I can see it right here under my network settings, Malfoy. And that's what I'm going to use. So network equals Malfoy. And then I'll say dash dash server dash IP equals, and this is where you get to have fun and choose the network you're going to use. Now, if you have no idea what that means, you can copy exactly what I'm doing and you'll be fine. So I'm gonna do this. First, my DHCP server is gonna be 10 dot, let's just say, I don't know, 38.1.1. I'm basically saying that's the router in that environment, but not really, it's just a DHCP server, if you wanna get technical. Then I'll specify the pool of IP addresses I want assigned to these attacking machines and attacked machines. So I'll start with the bottom. I'll say dash dash lower dash IP equals, and I'll say 10.38.1, I'll just say 110. And then I'll specify my upper IP. So I'll do dash dash upper dash IP equals 10.38.1.1, let's do 120. Now, what did I just do right there? I specified a range of IP addresses I want assigned. So anything between 1038.1.110 
and 1038.1.120, that's what my host will be assigned. So when I set this up, my Kali Linux machine will probably get .110, and my vulnerable machine will probably get .111, and whatever other machines I add will get those IP addresses. All right, let's keep going. You can make yours bigger, smaller, it doesn't matter. And then I'll specify my net mask, my network mask. Net mask equals 255.255.255.0. Again, if you have no idea what you're doing, just copy this. And then last, I'll do dash dash enable to enable it. That's all we need. I can press enter right now and this magic happens. Done. Now let's see if it worked. And this means we can finally boot up our virtual machines, our safe, secure attacking hacking environment. Let's do that right now. Gonna get back to virtual box. First, let's boot up our Kali Linux box. I'm just gonna right click this guy and say, start, normal start, go. And it's happening. You should get a login screen like this. The default username is Kali, and the password is also Kali. K-A-I-L, <laughs> easy for me to say, K-A-L-I. There we go, and log in. I'm gonna resize this, make it a bit bigger, and man, that's amazing, I love this. If this is your first time in Kali Linux, oh, you're in for a fun ride. Now I wanna check one thing. I wanna make sure that we actually got an IP address on this device. So I'm gonna open up my terminal here, right there. Scooch this down and make it a bit bigger. And I'll do IP address to show me what IP address I have. And boom, there it is. 10.38.1.110. Told you it's gonna be assigned that. It's like I'm a wizard. So we know that's working. Now real quick, let's see if this machine has access to the internet. I'll ping Google, nothing. If I look at my laptop here, and I look at his IP address, I'll do IP config, 10.7.1.144. That's on my actual home network. Let's see if he can reach that. 10.7.1.144. Nada, can't do it. Let's see if my laptop can reach him. 10.38.1.110. 10.38.1.110. Nothing, they are isolated. That's amazing. Now let's boot up our vulnerable machine. We'll get back to our VirtualBox console here. Click on Mr. Robot, right click and say, start, normal start. Now when you see this, it's gonna be so freaking cool. Just get ready. It's like a movie, like a TV show. Mr. Robot, yeah it is. <laughs> All right, that's booted up, that's ready. Now the only problem is the way this box is designed is we don't know the login information. We have to hack into it, right? So I can't go in there and verify the IP address. But I know he's on the network somewhere. What do you say we find him? Let's do that right now. Let's start our enumeration. Let's actually start hacking this box. So I'm gonna pull up my terminal here once more. And Kali Linux on my safe, secure hacking network. So we'll start with sudo nmap, which is an amazing hacking application. I love it. It's all about networking. We'll use the switch dash lowercase s, uppercase s. This is a TCP SYN scan. We'll do dash T4, which will make it go super fast. And then we'll specify our IP address range, which will be 10.38, which is our internal network, dot one, ah, dot, ah, do it right. Dot one, and I'll use my specific range, so I'll do dot one, one zero through dot 120, just to make things faster. So I'll hit enter, enter my pseudo password, which was Kali, and it's gonna go. Coffee break. Hmm, need more. And done, now it's a small range, so it was pretty quick. And it only found one other host, dot 111, which I told you, it'd be dot 111 for the uh, Mr. Robot box. And it shows us the open ports, 22, which is SSH, 80, and 443, which are both website ports, which tells us this is probably a web server. Let's check it out. I wanna open up a web browser right now. Let's do that. This is so cool though, I love this. I'll open up my web browser, and we'll go to his IP address, 10 dot, what was it, 38.1.111. Let's go there. <laughs> this is so cool. They did a great job with this. Look at that. It's, you know, of course, very Mr. Robot themed if you watch the show. But this is a legit machine that you can hack into and test your hacking skills or just learn how to hack. Now I'm gonna stop here. This is where the video ends. I'm not gonna show you how to hack this box because I want you to hack it. So go forth and prosper. Get your hacking, secure hacking environment set up and tackle this thing. Now, what does it mean to tackle this thing? Well, this is a typical capture the flag situation or a CTF. 
There are three flags you want to capture, which are usually in the form of finding like a string of text or data somewhere hidden in the file system, and you have to use your hacking skills to gain access to these things. Now, again, if you're new to this, this is like, wow, I don't know what to do. This is very intimidating. That's fine. First, they have a ton of walkthroughs, which you can go through and watch people try to attack this box, and they do it. You can also go to IT Pro TV and watch Daniel Lowry do it. He does a great job. And don't feel bad that you're following a walkthrough. As long as you attempt to learn everything you're looking at, when they try an attack, learn about that attack. Go, whoa, how do they do that? How do they know to do that? Why did that work? This is how you learn hacking. This is part of the journey. And then once you're done with this one, attack another one. Go download another box from Vulnhub in your own safe, secure hacking environment. And it's all free. Isn't that cool? I mean, I love that. Anyways, guys, that's about it. If you do hack this box, let me know below. Now, don't spoil it for anyone. Don't put your CTF flags below. But let me know if you do it. That'd be amazing. I'm going to go through it as well. I haven't actually done this yet. I can't wait to do it. And again, shout out to our sponsor, IT Pro TV. If you want to learn more about this, about hacking, and actually see this box done well, go check them out. Link below, 30% off forever with the code Network Chuck. And it's not just hacking. You can learn CCNA, A+, Security+, everything else that's out there in IT, you can learn. And don't forget about all the YouTube stuff. You know you have to do it. Like the video, comment, subscribe, notification bell. Let YouTube know that you want to see more of this content. If you do. If you don't, we'll do it anyway. It's not going to hurt you. So yeah. That's all I got. Actually, uh, no, there's something else. I, I got some new merch, in case you didn't tell. New mugs, new shirts, and of course, there's always coffee. Check that out, link below, networkchuck.coffee. Yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> I'll catch you guys next time. Time to start hacking.